This is the second video comparing Mac Pro and Ryzen 1700. Both 3 GHz 8 core workstations with 64 GB of RAM. This is the Adobe Premiere test. As a simple test, I use the movie trailer, I cut it into 10 second segments, and apply to each one of them the most commonly used Premiere effects black and white, brightness contrast, color balance, levels, sharpen, color corrector, and I'm exporting it as H.264. I loaded both. Timelines are synchronized, and I double the playback speed not to bore you. The Ryzen is in stock CPU settings and has a slower SATA SSD. As you can see, the Ryzen system is still faster. The Mac Pro took 30% more time to finish. That means that 3 hour render on Ryzen might take almost 4 hours on Mac Pro. We can speed up the Ryzen system even more by getting NVMe drive, which is directly supported by this motherboard and uses four PCI Express 3 lanes. For Premiere, I believe the sequential read and write speeds are the most important, and the write speed of NVMe drive is 280% faster than SATA SSD I have currently in there. Another thing you could do is overclock it. Here I have just loaded BIOS profile for 4 GHz, and the render time was reduced to 39 seconds. I wouldn't do that for production environment, but you can upgrade this Ryzen 1700 to Ryzen 1800X, which can turbo up to 4 GHz without overclocking. For $470 more, so it's an even better option. In conclusion, Ryzen 1800X is a great option if you use Premiere and want to upgrade from Mac Pro. If you upgrade and have the need to export to ProRes, you will need to buy a separate ProRes plugin because Apple stopped supporting QuickTime on Windows a long time ago. Even Ryzen 1700 is still significantly faster than 8-core Mac Pro, so it might also be a good upgrade option to finish your projects faster, under $2,000. In the coming videos, I will test also a new Intel 7700K with the same projects. After Effects is next. Cheers.